What's up everybody, Man Bear Cow here. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create your own custom team to use in Madden 25. So if you've ever wanted to make your own team with your own custom logo, your own color scheme, and your own stadium, pay attention until the end because we're gonna show you how to do that. So if you open Madden 25, you may notice a creation center on the main menu. The creation center will allow you to edit rosters or create players. You can also visit the download center where you can download teams that other people have created. But you may notice that there is no team builder in the creation center menu. That's right, there's no way to create your own team from inside the game. If you want to create your own team, you will have to exit the game and visit the EA Sports website. The official team builder website can be found at ea.com slash games slash Madden dash NFL slash team dash builder or you can find the link down below in the description. You may have to create an EA account, but the EA website allowed me to sign in using my Steam account. I purchased the game through Steam, so this way I know that my account will be linked and I shouldn't have a problem finding my team. Once you've logged in, click Create to enter the team builder. The first thing you may see is a screen asking you to select a logo. This is quite possibly the most interesting decision you will have to make as your logo will define your team. Do you want a logo that will send fear into your opponents? Or do you want to go with something more lighthearted and whimsical that will make people smile? The choice is yours, and you can just about go with anything you want. A team builder will allow you to upload up to five custom logos. So if you've ever wanted to create a team called the Horde, or possibly the Nimrods, or even Metallica, you can do it. For best results, you may want to go with a .png file. Just go online and search for an image with the .png format, and this will usually help you find logos with a clear background. Once you've picked a logo, we can use that logo to select our color scheme. By clicking the button, Select from Primary Logo, you can select up to three team colors from the logo. And if you're not happy with the results, you can adjust them individually. Once we have a logo and a color scheme, we are ready to design our uniforms. Click the Uniforms tab, and we'll start with the home jersey. The first thing you may want to do is add your logo to the helmet. Expand the Custom Layers tab, and by default, the helmet will include an American flag decal and a warning label. Feel free to delete these, and then click Add Custom Layer. Your primary logo should automatically appear on the helmet. Use the slider bars to adjust the scale or size and the placement of your logo on the helmet. Then you can change the style of your helmet stripe and adjust the colors. Then we can change the design of our jersey. I won't spend too much time explaining what it does here. You can obviously adjust the color scheme of your jersey, as well as adjusting a few design elements. We will repeat this process again with the pants and the socks. If at any point you want to see what your full jersey looks like, on the right side of the screen, click the button that says Preview Uniform. This will show you what your full jersey looks like up to this point. Once you are satisfied with your home jersey, we will repeat this process for the away jersey. And you can create up to five different designs for your team. So feel free to get creative. If you want to go with a green machine, you can go right on ahead. So we've picked our logo, we have our team name, and we've designed our jerseys. Well now we are going to need to select a place for our team to play. Click on the Stadium tab and choose a name for your stadium. You can choose between a canopy, a stadium with a retractable roof, a sphere, a futuristic stadium, or a traditional stadium. The Crowd tab doesn't really let you see what's going on, but it will allow you to choose between two different color schemes for the fans in your stadium. If you want all of your fans to be wearing your team colors, push the slider all the way to the corresponding side. If you put the slider anywhere in the middle, the fans in your stadium will be wearing a mix between the two colors. Up next, we will choose the playing surface. You can go with a traditional grass stadium, or if you've always wanted to play on red grass, you can go ahead and do that. One of the most important design elements will be choosing your logo. You can place your logo in the middle of the field and adjust the size to your liking. You can also add secondary logos on the 20 yard line, or you can choose to remove them. At the bottom of the logo section, you will see a section where you can upload a custom layer. This will allow you to place a logo anywhere on the field. 
You may even be able to get creative and create your own end zone banner. I've seen people make some pretty interesting end zone designs, but for now I'm going to keep it simple. After all, these are the South Park cows and they're not exactly a major market team. So I'm going with a more low budget design, but you can feel free to get as creative as you like. Once you have arranged your logos on the field, you can make any more fine adjustments such as the sidelines, the number scheme, or the color scheme on your team bench areas. Once you have finished designing your stadium, we can move on to adjusting our roster. If you click the franchise tab, you will see a list of players on your team. From here, you can completely edit your players by changing their name, their profile photo, and their statistics. So if you want to put yourself in the game, you can go ahead and do that. Or if you've always wanted your center to be Eric Cartman, just change the name and adjust any of the stats to your liking. I think I'm going to make him really slow, but he's going to be great at blocking. And you can repeat this process for your entire roster. But if you don't feel like using any of these customized players, don't worry about adjusting any of them because you can select real NFL players later on in the process. But for now, consider this a placeholder roster. Create new players if you want to use them, or leave it as is. Once we are done, we will save our team, and then click submit. And then we will wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. And hopefully, you will see a notification that your team was submitted successfully. If you receive an error, you can always try again. I received an error on my first two attempts, but I just tried again and eventually it went through. Now we are ready to add our custom team to the game. Open Madden 25, go to the Creation Center, and select Download Center. Tab over to the section that says My Downloads. You should be able to find any custom teams that you have created in this menu. Select a team, and then click Download. Repeat this process for any other teams that you have created. You can create up to 32 teams. Once you have downloaded all your teams, we will head to Franchise. When you get to the section where you pick your team, you will be able to swap any of the real NFL teams for one of your custom teams. The team that you swap does not have to be the team that you select, which is good if you want to add a rival team. And you can swap out all 32 NFL teams with your own custom teams. So you can create your own customized league if you like. Now you are ready to play franchise mode with your own custom NFL team. If you found this guide helpful, show me some love down below in the comments. And feel free to let us know what custom team you created. And who knows, maybe we can even create our own custom league using our teams. Are you up to the challenge? This is Man Bear Cow signing out, saying thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. And keep an eye on my future videos so that we can see what happens with the South Park Cows or the Albuquerque Isotopes, or possibly some other team that I create. Stay tuned.